Hi, James. Hey, babe. How you guys doing today? Hi, Shalia. Hey, you guys, share me out. Share me out. Today we're doing the Koshi's Lemon Butter Pound Cake. Oh, fine. How you doing? Hi, Tristan. <laughs> sure, I can. Now, you know you won't get that overnight with the holidays going on. Instagram, huh? Also add the Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just haven't done it right now. I do do the YouTube though. But I'm gonna get around to that pretty soon, hopefully. As soon as I get the house back right from the construction. One minute, guys. Grab me a little sip of water. Hi, Mark. Glad you're joining us today, everybody. We're doing a lemon butter pound cake. the taste of Koshi. Thank you all the new people for coming in. I love to see you pop in, pop in, pop in. Share me out. Please share me out. Share me out and give me some love. Today we're going to be doing the Koshi's Living Butter Pound Cake, okay? And, and please remember every Wednesday live on Facebook, three o'clock. Let's go. Let's get started. Let's get started. So over here is our cake. So when I make a cake, I use cake flour because it's been sifted like a hundred times. And then we will sift it again, but I use this one. Uh, there's a swan's down and soft as silk. Okay, I use them both. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna put in our two cups of butter and it is unsalted. Okay, so we're gonna drop this in. And then you don't want to get rid of your wrappers because your wrappers are going to use it to butter your pan, okay? So we're gonna drop all of these in and we're just gonna set these in here and we'll get back to them because we have to flour our pan. Now we did the peach cobbler because you guys wanted the peach cobbler. I hope some of you tried the peach cobbler because I didn't receive any photos yet. So if you did the peach cobbler from last Wednesday with the homemade pie crust, please pop me in some of your photos so I can see how it turned out and if you liked it. Because I click on your request and I'm gonna see what y'all did, okay? Because this is more of a tutorial. I write all the recipes, and when you ask for them, I create a 
and we get busy. All right? So I'm going to rinse my hands off. And we're going to get this going. So I'll usually put this on two because we want to start mixing that. Get our plates out the way as we go. Then we're going to put in, this is called Butter Crisco. And if you guys have never seen Butter Crisco, I have some in there and I'll show you what it looks like. And it has the flavor of butter. So we're going to put that half a cup of Butter Crisco in there. And then we're going to cream those. Let me get that out for you. And I use this for all my baking. So like if I'm going to make cookies or if I'm required to do it with biscuits or whatever or cakes or my pie dough, it's this Butter Crisco. Okay, not regular Crisco. Butter Crisco. You know butter tastes better in everything. So we'll put that down. Then after you put in your butter and your Crisco, and you see how it's creaming up, you want to leave everything out the night before so it'll get room temperature. Your eggs, your butter, your Crisco, okay? It won't hurt it to stay out overnight. And I, when I do my milk, I take it out, and I'll put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then I'll set it out to get room temperature, okay? So you always want to cream your butter first, and then you turn it down, and then you're going to add your sugar, and you're going to cream your sugar with your butter. So you just pour it all right in there, just like that, okay, and then turn this back up again, and then we're going to let this cream and get nice and fluffy. It doesn't take long because everything is room temperature. So, you know, you want to get that little whipped cream fluffy look. So it's not so granulated, okay? Here we go. And pick this up and get it going. Hi, Maria. Let's see. Hi, Faye. I'm so glad you guys are on today. So now you see how fluffy this is looking, guys? And that's how we want it to look. So then we're going to turn this down just a little. And now we're going to add our eggs. Now it requires six eggs for this pound cake. It's a very rich pound cake. So two cups of butter, three cups of sugar, and now we're putting a, a half a cup of Crisco, and now we're going to incorporate our eggs. And when we do our eggs, we are going to go one egg at a time. So then you sit here, and then you're going to drop one yolk in, and you're going to let that mix in well, okay? See that? And then put that one yolk in. Then we're going to bring in another yolk and drop it down in there. And once it gets, you know, incorporated in there, then you just go on and add another yolk. And it's giving your cake time to come together. Okay? You can't rush making a cake. It's the love that you put in it is what you're going to get out of it. Okay? So there goes another yolk. And we have two to go. And there goes another yolk. And this is our last yolk. Now you guys can see this is getting real creamy and fluffy. Right? So we're gonna let it do what it do. And now we're gonna come over here and we're, while this is mixing, we're gonna start on our dry ingredients. So I use this as my sister, this mesh. And I put it right here. We're gonna take the, the flour that we just did and we're gonna put the salt in there and the baking powder in there, just like that. 
then I'm going to give it a little whisk, okay, just so that it gets in there. And we're going to push this right into our sifter, okay? Get me a, a little spatula here and get it down in here. There we go. Easy does it. And you just bump this, just like this. And as you're bumping it, it's falling below. So you see that? So you take it a little, little angle like that and bump, 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 bump. And this is how you sift your flour. Because when we don't sift our flour, it makes your cakes very heavy. And you don't want a heavy cake. You don't want a gummy cake. You don't want a heavy cake. So you got to take the time to put in the love to do just the little things. And those little things make a delicious cake. And once you get this method down, every cake you make will come out just like this one. I'm gonna wipe up the little flour so we don't get it all over us. All right, so now we got that done. We're gonna take our milk and we're gonna put in our vanilla extract in our milk. We're gonna put in our butter extract in our milk. And then we're gonna put in our lemon extract in our milk. Okay, and I'm gonna give that a little stir. So you guys see what's going on here? So we got dry ingredients together, and then we have wet ingredients together, and we have butter and sugar and eggs together. So now, here's the fun part. We want to turn it down to two, and you want to spoon in maybe two or three spoons of this. And then you're gonna give it just a little bit of milk. And you're gonna let that go in there and mix all up and get love together. And we're gonna just keep doing that until it's all gone. say turn it down on two is because you don't want your fire flour to come and pop you in the face. You don't want to go too fast with this, okay? Just take your time. Cakes are not hard to make. You just got to follow the rules. Everything got rules. As long as you follow them, they come out perfect. Okay? Now we're going to give this one a little swirl and drop it right down in there. And then we're going to give it the rest of the milk. Over here, the paper, we're gonna butter our pan with. See that? Get it in there nice and good. Okay. And then we're gonna butter these the same way. One for the top, one for the bottom. Then we're going to get rid of these. Now, wash my hands off a little because they're a little sticky. I'm going to stop my coat, raise my 
raise it up and I'm gonna take me a spatula and I'm gonna go down here and make sure I have everything off the bottom. Okay? Because you don't want to pour your batter into your cake pan and then all of a sudden you look back and you got flour on top. Okay? You just wipe it off right here, just like that. Put it back down in there and let it continue to mix on two. Then we're going to take my reserve cake flour because I use cake flour to flour my pans. I don't use regular flour if I'm making a, a cake, okay? So we have a little reserve. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour that in there like that. And you're gonna pat it and roll it. Pat it and roll it, okay? And I usually do this over the city, but I was just letting you guys see how it's done. <laughs> I don't want to make a big mess. And I take it and I sprinkle it all around the, the funnel and then on the bottom. And it comes out like that. Then we're going to shake this around. You just bump it. Bump it on your side of your hand just like this. Bump, bump, bump and spin. And then afterwards, Tap it down, that'll get rid of the excess, okay? So now that's ready to roll. Now we preheat our oven. Our oven is already set on 350, and it is waiting for the guests to arrive. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up. Cause we didn't use it all, so I'll save it. So the next cake I make, I use it to dust it with, okay? Wipe this off. Now, when I make my cakes, I uh, use parchment paper. When I use uh, baked cookies, I use parchment paper. The, uh, when I make my pie crust, I use parchment paper. So parchment paper is good for baking. When I make my bacon, I make par use parchment paper as well. So now we need to get this to fit in here. So what I do, is I roll it backwards. I fold it over one time and pleat it. I'll fold it over again and pleat it. And I'll put it here and I'll cut that much off, okay? Then I'll fold it over one more time because now we have to make the funnel fit, right? So I'll fold it one more time and then I'll put it halfway into the funnel right here and then I'll cut in a circle. Just like that. Then when we open this up, it's ready for the hole. You see that? Then I'll take it and set it center. I'll put it right down in here and press it down. And then I'll pleat my cake all the way around. Okay? Just use your hand and go around and pleat your paper down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just go ahead and pleat it around. This makes your cake come out nice and, and golden. Okay? They don't all have to be going the same way. You just need it to get done. So then you're going to take it out, put that back in, and then this goes on top. And then you press it down. Okay? Y'all see that? Now, this is how you want your cake to look. We're gonna turn that off. You want it to look just like that, okay? So now, we're gonna grab a spoon again. We're gonna take this off. Get our little excess out. Do this, bring it up, and 
we're gonna just pour it right in here. Just like this. You're not gonna shake it. You don't wanna bam it down. You're just gonna go around and get it all in here, okay? Get some over here, get some over here. Okay, just like that. My kids used to love the bowl. Oh my goodness, they would love the bowl. So then what I do is I just take my little spatula here and I just go down like that and pleat it up, just like that on the, on the little pieces that are sticking out too far. Just do like that with them. Nothing fancy. Okay. And then just go like that to your cake, okay? Then take the little extra off, and this cake is ready for the oven. So it's evenly spread, okay? Any questions? Any questions, anybody, about the cake? No? Now, the reason we put that parchment paper in there, too, is also so the cake won't come through the bottom of the pan, okay? So let's pop it in the oven. In it goes. And we're gonna set this for an hour and 30 minutes. So set your timer, one hour and 30 minutes. And start. Now, I've already made one for you. So, voila. Here's the cake. So now, I'm going to show you how to make this butter icing for the cake. Okay? Because I didn't want you guys to wait an hour and a half. To, uh, see the okay, so we'll trade places, Dad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter, which is one fourth cup of butter, and I'm gonna melt that in the microwave for 30 seconds. My mother always calls on Wednesdays. I don't know why. She knows I do a show at three o'clock. So if you guys gotta pause, my mom calls. That didn't take quite 30 seconds, but we got it. So we're gonna put that butter right down in there like that. And next we're going to add our vanilla. And you know, my beautiful neighbor gave me those lemons. Carol, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Carol, you're getting a surprise pound cake today. As soon as it comes out the oven. So we have the zest of that lemon, one teaspoon that we're putting in here. And then we also have the juice of those lemons, two tablespoons, and we're putting those in there, okay? Then all you do is add your powdered sugar or confectionate sugar, whatever they say. Either one, powder or confection, it just depends on how proper you want to be. But they're both the same. So you're going to add in your two cups of confectionate sugar. And listen, if you want your icing 
thinner than this, just add a little more lemon. Okay. And all you do is stir this up until it's completely all done. Hi, Santa. You guys, my girlfriend Santa sent me two beautiful flower arrangements for my birthday. My favorite color, which is burnt orange. I gotta say thanks to my girl because she hooked me up in the flower department. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so special. Hi, Allison. And I'd like to thank everybody else who wished me a beautiful happy birthday. Thank you so much. I enjoyed my 62nd birthday. It was fabulous. I got great gifts. I got like 750 in cash from my kids and my mom and my husband. They took me out to dinner to have a nice steak dinner. And then I went to the casino sis. And y'all know I don't be spending money in the casino, so I only spent $40. But I had a blast. It was a blast. Okay, so you're gonna whip this up, and that's it for your icing. Look at that. And it comes out like that. Y'all see that? We're not gonna ice in this cake because we did already. Right? So that's the icing. We'll save that for Carol's cake. Now we're gonna plate this up. I'm going to go get us a little plate. I want you guys to see the inside. I started myself a little diet, keto diet, so I'm not going to have the cake, but I'm going to give it to Papa. Papa can use the cake. Micah say you want to taste too. Micah, you want to taste the cake? Yes. You going to pop in so you taste the cake? Yes. Come on and pop in so you can taste the cake. Okay. Give me a little knife so I can cut the cake. Y'all see how pretty that, that looks? Mm -hmm. Still a little warm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And you know, I would love. Look at that cake. Can y'all see that? Like buttery and rich. Look at that. I'm doing great. I am. Thank you so much. I don't like this. Mike, you so, want some ice cream? Do you want some? Yes, I'm sure. You want, oh, okay, let me get some ice cream. <laughs> you want some ice cream on your own? Uh-oh, you guys have eaten all the ice cream. There's only sugar in here. I know you don't want sugar. And Rocky Road. <laughs> no vanilla. No vanilla. Oh, the, uh, what's it called again? Frosting. Oh, the, yes, you can. You want frosting on yours? Yes, please. Okay, I'll give you a bite. This is frosting. It's, this is icing. It's not frosting. Oh. Open up, Micah. Here's you guys, Micah. Tell me, tell me how you like it. Oh, Turn around, oh, Micah. Get, get Turn mouth. around, Micah. <laughs> wait, here, wait. Wait, let me go like this. There, there you go. Mm. That's the greatest <laughs> <That's> ever. <laughs> Y'all, I put so much in his mouth, he can't talk. <laughs> that was the, this is the greatest cake ever. It is. Why, thank you. Dad, do you want icing? You like you? Yeah, I'll take icing. You want icing? Yeah, ice cream. Okay, you want icing too. And you guys could make extra icing if you want to. Mm. So, that is the lemon butter pound cake. I learned how to make cakes from my girlfriend, Debbie, who passed away a sickle cell. And um, she taught me how to make this cake. And any other cake or pastry I make, 
She was an excellent cook from Belize. And I want to give her props and thank her and mommy for teaching me how to make cakes. Absolutely. Well, this is the cake, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. Look at that. So nice. I want to eat it so bad. Um, please post pictures and let me know how you like it. Please, please, please. Also, we are going to be making biscuits from scratch next Wednesday. That's going to be on the block. We had a request for that. The same time we had the cake in the peach cobbler. We had a toss up. So we're getting them all in. So next Wednesday at 3 p.m., we'll be making the homemade biscuits from scratch. And we might as well make the gravy to go with it, okay? So we'll be doing breakfast at 3. Can you do what? Oh, you wanna say, okay. So Micah's gonna finish what, uh, stand right here. Just a, we're not doing a pop-up to the house kids room. Come around, Dad. Micah's gonna, he's gonna do my, my editing for me over here at the end of the, of the tape. So my name is what? My, my name is Micah. And my and, name is? And my grandma's name is Pamela. Uh-huh, and next week we're gonna and be next, doing? Next week we're gonna be doing Biscuits, biscuits from scratch. From scratch. And the show is every Wednesday. And the show is every Wednesday at 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Uh huh. Don't forget to share us out. Don't forget to share us out. And tune in next and week. Tune in next week. And if you have any requests, and you have any requests, write them down write and them text down me. And text me. And we'll and get it done. And we'll get it done. All right now. See you next Wednesday. <laughs> See you next Wednesday, you guys. Thank you, Micah. I hope you guys enjoyed the show.